If you have a YouTube channel and you upload all of your YouTube shorts from your mobile device and have not visited your PC for a while to check out the studio app online, you might not be aware that there's a new feature that was added for YouTube shorts that will allow you to place a link in that short to another related video on your own YouTube channel. So finally, it gives you a method to easily convert short views into long form content views. Now the problem is you cannot do it from your mobile phone, you can only do it from your PC. So as an example of what it looks like once that link has been added, on the screen here we have a 1957 Chevrolet, and we have a link right here It says Gearhead Get Together Episode 1 2023 with a little play symbol. So a user who watches this on their PC or also on their mobile device will see this link right over the top of the video, and if they click on that, it will take them to the long form content related video to that YouTube short. So in principle, we've just converted that 15 second short view or one minute short view, hopefully into a 50 minute long form content video view. So how do you do that? What we need to do is go into the YouTube studio and locate your video and go into the edit mode. And you'll see this new edition right here that says related video. And just click on that field and then do a search for the related video in this case, Gearhead Get Together. So find the video that is related, select it, and then select Save. So that's what you need to do for a video that already exists on your channel. Now I would recommend that you go into Channel Analytics and check out for the last seven days or 28 days what shorts that are getting views, because I would really suggest that you go back and add links to all those to a long form video if such a video exists. So for example, if you created an hour long podcast and created one minute shorts off of that long form video, then you'd want to put a link in those shorts to the long form content because maybe who somebody who sees that one minute video might want to watch all 60 minutes. So now they can see that link right on the screen and follow it. So to do that, you know, do a sort here, let's say for last 28 days. Now it will be long form content and short form content. So we can go into the filter and select by content type and then select shorts and then select apply. So on this YouTube channel, we can see from top to bottom what shorts are getting the most amount of views. So we would want to then go and edit all of these shorts and place links so that people that watch these shorts will go out and hopefully watch that long form content adding to the view hours that the channel receives. Now, if you're going to create a short from your PC, one thing to be aware of is when you're creating a new short and you select create and upload video and you select a file and then select open. As you're uploading it, that box does not appear. You have to step through this entire process by selecting next. In this case, it's making me select the monetization settings because this channel is monetized and then select next and then next. So once we step through this entire process and publish the video, whether it be private or scheduled, now we can go back to channel content, select that video, and now the related video field will appear. So this was at Unique Classic Cars. So we can search for that video. So there, so now hopefully somebody who watches this short will click on the link to see all 190 of the cars that were in the long form video rather than just this 1970 Dodge Super B. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.